Great people of Africa, the time to unite and fight for genuine freedom and liberation is now. Never again shall we allow a repeat of what happened in Libya. Let us ponder on these statements made by an African leader recently and I quote, a country that was opposed to our liberation, a country that supported colonial regimes, the apartheid regime in South Africa, the white racist minority regime in Zimbabwe, the Portuguese colonial governments in Mozambique, in Angola, in Guinea-Bissau, and Cape Verde, including British-controlled Nigeria, are now coming to Africa to teach us about democracy. A country that has toppled so many governments in Africa, a country that has led so many deadly coups in Africa and other parts of the world, a country that has killed so many of our great leaders in Africa and other parts of the world, the killers of Patrice Lumumba, those who toppled Kwame Nkrumah, those who killed NASA, those who killed Muammar Gaddafi and many more, are today coming to teach us about democracy. A country that has been built on brutal force, on enslavement of other human beings, on the humiliation of Africans and the exploitation of Africans, are today coming to Africa to teach us about democracy. That is the arrogance, the imperialist arrogance, the racist arrogance that we are subjected to. And we are saying never again shall we allow this to continue. We cannot have democracy where there is hegemony of the strongest mightiest imperialist power. We cannot have democracy where a country's resources, a country's decisions are dictated to by another country. A country that is dominated by another country cannot be democratic. A country that lacks sovereignty cannot be democratic. A people that cannot decide for themselves cannot be democratic. A colony, a neo-colony, cannot be democratic. That's why today, even at the United Nations, membership is on the basis of sovereignty. Only sovereign nations can be members of the United Nations because only sovereign nations can decide for themselves." Unquote. We have abundance of everything that makes the world go round, from minerals to human resources, yet we are ranked the poorest in the world and they make the world believe that Africa is merely surviving on AIDS coming from the West. The same people who come into Africa and steal from us. What arrogance and wickedness. Now, Africans are saying enough is enough. Let it sink into the minds of those who care to listen. God bless Africa and God bless Russia.